Welcome to the Never Been Promoted podcast, where we're all about helping you cut the tie to all that holds you back. The excuses, the fears, the people, that sense of entitlement. Cut the ties so you can unleash your inner entrepreneur. Your host, Thomas Helfrick, is on a mission to make more entrepreneurs in the world and make them better at entrepreneurship. Welcome back to another episode of Never Been Promoted. We're here to unleash your entrepreneur, trying to help a million entrepreneurs get better at entrepreneurship. Now, we do this through a lot of storytelling and uh, learning from other entrepreneurs. And so if you can pick up one thing from today's guest, who is uh, Bob Safail, he is the president of American Stories. That's AmericanStories.tv. So if you are ever interested in how to use uh, video and and actually be on a TV show, this is going to be a great episode for you. Uh, But before we get started and and get into meeting our guest, listen, if this is your first time here, I am so appreciative of you trying it out. And I hope it's the first of many. And if you've been here before, really, thank you so much. If you haven't already, please, five star. These are important. Five star reviews of Apple, um, Amazon, Music, uh, Spotify, and give the YouTube.com uh, at um, Never Been Promoted a, a subscribe because you have access to all kinds of fun stuff and content there. But let's get in. Let's go meet our guests. Let's bring them in here. Um, Robert or Robert. <laughs> I don't know why Robert became Bob. Should have been Bob. You know, you know, actually, my mother hated the fact that all of a sudden I was being referred to as Bob. I think it was the fourth grade, and she was like, uh, she was, uh, she was not happy. <laughs> so it's Bob, but you know, bless her soul, she's uh, up in the the big sky now, and she's probably still not happy about me being called Bob. But well, I'm gonna call you. Does. I'm gonna call you Robert because it's on your name sure. tag. Um, the uh, <laughs> uh, let's, we're gonna get into kind of your your journey of American stories. Uh, sure. Uh, and everything else that goes with that. Uh, I'm super excited for this episode because lots of people want to be on TV or want to be featured and there's a big vanity play. But what we're going to talk about today is kind of the business part of it, why you do it, how to do it right, how it really works. So this is some insight into really kind of how media and television and specifically maybe more um, non-traditional channels work. And so this is going to be fun. Uh, Before though, we get into that, your story, your backstory. Uh, I'm going to ask you an icebreaker. Now, given that you're in the movie industry, if you could be one character from a movie, who would you be? Gordon Gecko. <laughs> the Gecko from like the commercials or? No. <laughs> you ever watch it? You ever, I think it's Gordon Gecko. Maybe I'm wrong. Wall Street. You ever watch Wall Street? Greed. That's good. It is good. Now, listen, I'm a, I'm a nice Gordon Gecko. You have got to explain that to me because his character was not what I would define as nice. And you are certainly a nicer person than us. Well, you know, in the 80s, in that time in the 80s, in 86, 87, 88, it was a literally business was transforming so rapidly. Um, All of a sudden, uh, investment banks were uh, able to be uh, public. And that changed everything. All of a sudden, these white shoe investment banks that were kind of sleepy little hovels uh, suddenly, uh, suddenly were able to go public. And all of a sudden, the greed is good uh, mantra started rolling. Now, um, Gordon, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he was a very smart guy. He knew how to make things uh, work. Uh, he did uh, dis- disassemble companies. And he sold him off, but <laughs> he was. I, I loved his character. It's very interesting character, and and literally, it did change. It did change uh, business TV forever. So more admire the fact that uh, the actor did such a great job because he did unbelievable job. But uh, that sh- that movie really changed things. Yeah, it. I, I have to go back and watch. I haven't seen. It's probably been. 30 years since I've seen that movie. I'd have to totally. To, it's a timeless movie. You can watch it today. And, 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 uh, you know, Mar- Martin Sheen was unbelievable too. Yeah. Uh, do you want to get into your backstory a little bit? How you got into this kind of business and American yeah. stories, t- not TV and everything. Just give, give us a few minutes on you. 
hundred uh, percent. I'm kind of an early adopter in multiple areas as the telephone industry uh, basically um, um, broke apart in the late eighties. Uh, I was involved in that. Uh, I started a, a, a very unique telephone company. Uh, pay phones were literally in correctional facilities. Uh, they were the most profitable pay phones in America. Uh, yet the correctional facilities were paying for those semi-private phones to be in those facilities. Um, and I came in and in three short years, we ended up dominating the space. We were in 43 states, 700 correctional facilities. We did 27 million our third year and we sold it in our fifth year to a, to a public company, did well. Um, and then we kind of started noticing that the telephone guys who were running telephone companies were not too smart, just <laughs> didn't know finance, <laughs> uh, didn't know that kind of thing. So we really got involved in that. So I started doing uh, investment banking assistance uh, in that space. And then something happened that once again changed the world. And that's when voice over Internet protocol came in and the telephone companies and the Internet started merging. And that was a huge change. And so we became uh, uh, big players uh, in a, another company I owned in the internet uh, internet space. Um, within six months, we, my partner was on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, um, and and we we're one of the first 100 companies that were certified by Google as AdWords professionals. So that rolled up. So we're doing great internet marketing. But then by about 2011, 2012, uh, internet marketing was commoditized. But there was one thing that I noticed really was a, was a differentiator. And that's the use of celebrities in internet marketing campaigns. So we formed a celebrity endorsement company. I'm proud to say we're 12 years old. We've done over 700 engagements. We're connected to well over a thousand celebrities sports, music, TV, and film. And, um, and man, we figured out how to take the, you think of most celebrities, whether they're sports, acting, music, they have decades of investment in their trade. And they've built up a massive amount of goodwill. So if you can somehow draft off of that, like a car, cars do a NASCAR, you can really change you know, you could change companies' images instantly. And from that company, from what I was hearing from celebrities who were really, believe me, many were tired about the cancel culture in the 2018, 2019. And many of my clients were just tired of it. Uh, I formed American Stories with a simple mission. Uh, provide content that inspired people gave them great information and made them happy. Very simple concept. And we focused on everyday people. Um, and we used all the tools that I learned from celebrity endorsement uh, to produce TV shows and integrate companies, literally integrating companies, just like I do with celebrity endorsement and integrating companies into our shows. The most powerful, powerful method of marketing and promotion today, there is nothing close. It's like a product placement. It's like the Coke can that was in the background. And now it's like the, you know, the technology yeah. company that helps you on camera. Like, well, I want to work with that company. I get it. That's correct. I mean, the, the Coke can is, a, is, is kind of, that's the original OG of that space, you know, product placement. But what we do is people and company placement. And what we do is we, we have our audience become fans of the company and the owner. Um, if I can, a couple more words on that. If anybody sure. here has ever watched Undercover Boss, that is the home run of home run of home runs of integrations. That's an example of proper integration. It's funny though. I will tell you that for that show specifically, it's it can be a risk. Like, so wow. I think how you're doing it is way less risky where you're having people and you can explain the model, but you're having really known experts help another, somebody in their business. And so everyone's seeing, you know, I have this problem. It's not over the top band, but the undercover boss, 
potentially, you know, it's great for TV, but potentially could have been really bad for a couple companies <laughs> if they aired all the uh, content that was probably filmed. Yes. Uh, in, in fact, it's my strong belief that originally uh, the producers, and that's a whole other wrinkle of the world, uh, designed Undercover Boss to be a dumpster fire show. I think they thought they were going to send the, the, the CEO in and he was going to find, you know, malcontents and, and controversy within the ranks. And I, I, I think the original guy, I forget the name of the company, I think he had decided and didn't say nothing to the producers that he was going to flip the script. <laughs> he was going to find people who he really liked, who were really doing a good job, who had great stories. And man, I think they, by the end of that first episode, I think the producers were all looking at each other, deciding, oh, my God, what do we do? <laughs> do we stick with the old model or just go with it? And, and they went with it. I think um, the executive so, producers go, if you want future guests and to go past season one, you can't burn the people who paid to be here. <laughs> you know, and you know, sometimes you're so right, because there's another pro show called The Prophet. I uh, can't remember the guy's name. Um, yeah, he's ever like he's all over. He's all over my feed for some reason. I don't even know why. But I'm talking well, about. You, I you'll remember. also notice that his show is no longer there, uh, and and that's because it became dumpster fire TV. It was showing. Try. I guess there. The, he he was sold on creating controversy, having the partners hate each other, and you know. Let me ask you this, Thomas. I mean, you 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 work with a lot of companies. I mean, you're you're a star there, um, but man, at the end of the day, after you've been tangling all day long helping people with the problems, do you want to go home and, and watch something that's more problems, or do you want to feel better? I mean, I definitely want to feel I, by feeling better. That's why I don't watch TV anymore. Like, like I stop watching I local watch, anything because I mean, watch, honestly, it's so negative. It's like, right programs, though. Why? I mean, there's great TV there, man. You just have to find it. That's all. Well, well, listen, and I'll, I'll leave this out there. I always like to find these reflective moments for people trying to run their business and get better. If you can cut out TV that adds no value to your world, and that includes Netflix, YouTube shorts, scroll, even a podcast. If it doesn't really, if it's just entertainment, you may need to go to something that's a little more positive, a little more helpful because you're wasting time on something that could have been brain power towards something else. And, and so if yeah. you need downtime, go for a walk, go meditate, go read, don't, don't consume. If you're going to consume something, uh, and this is why I love your show. That's why I wanted you to have on your too, is because your show actually gives nuggets of wisdom in the context of solving a problem. So you're being entertained. It's like entertain education. Or what's it? Ed 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 yeah, ed enter. That's it. <laughs> I, you know, I'm going to go with your word, Thomas. <laughs> Some, I stole from somebody yesterday and, and he did it so well that I, I'm butchering it right now. But the point is yeah. it's entertaining, but you're learning something from it. And um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. That, that's a good, that's, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's a, that's like almost like reading a book. So almost. Uh, well, I mean, so. as, as you know, you know, it's a shameless plug for you. I mean, I saw what you were doing and I knew you were perfect for Boom America with Kevin Harrington. I mean, you're 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 entertaining. Uh, you, there's a lot of life coming out of you. You got charisma and you're smart as hell. And man, you got to have that before people will take down their little sales resistance and listen to what you say. And you you check all the boxes. Now, and, and by the way, folks, he didn't ask me to say that. I'm, he, I'm he's probably going, Bob, come on, man. We're talking about you. But I'm just saying you have to have great characters and cast. A hundred percent. And so, yeah, so anyone listening here, like we, Bob and I connected through LinkedIn and uh, I had, a, you know, he came to me for an idea and I said, like, well, I have an idea for you. And we both, we both are working together. But yeah. understand each other's business models of how it helps and and how we can promote. And I am for the show here. That doesn't you know just because we work together doesn't guarantee someone comes on the promoted never been promoted. Podcast. Oh, of course so, of course. But so. what I found amazing is, and, and let's get into this, is the use of the model of how accessible it is to get on with a on a celebrity, like. To get your model up, you need to be tied to someone who's already made it to some degree. If, if you're not on yourself, and there's ways to do that that aren't so sleazy or just total pay to play. Like you always have to invest some capital into some, to, to to get what you need, but it's right. a marketing cost. So maybe talk about what your model is, and and specifically the the small business owner or the entrepreneur that that would love to get more exposure but does not know anything about your space. Do you want to take them down that that journey a little bit? Yeah, I mean. 
first of all, you really have to identify what type of celebrity would be the right people for you. I mean, you, you know, just because you because you like X, Y, Z person doesn't mean it's relevant at all. So you really have to identify I mean, if you're a small business and you're involved in real estate. There's Joanna Grimes, I think her name is. Um, that's an example. But here's here's the here's the interesting thing. Um, a lot of people come to us. My celebrity endorsement comes say, hey, I want to do a big brand ambassador deal. And I said, no, you don't want to do that because you got to date before you marry. And there are great ways to get celebrity endorsement that don't require you getting a second mortgage. Um, there are more authentic ways to do it. So believe it or not, many celebrities are on Instagram and they're on X and you can communicate to them or on YouTube. In YouTube, just go to the back section and there's a contact section. You can email them. And so you can, you know, one of the things that that's that's interesting thing for everybody to think about, if you want to work with a celebrity, find out what they need. Communicate to them, hey, listen, I see what you're doing here. Is there any way I can assist you? Don't ask anything from them. Say, I'm going to help you. And man, it's such a reverse flow that you're going to have a number of celebrities go, wow. And I'm telling you, you do this with no strings attached. You help them. And you will be absolutely surprised what happens. You That's what I did with, with Star Tank star Kevin Harrington. I said, how can I help you? And he, he you know? said, since you're local, you can get me a coffee and we can talk about it. Well, you know, it's funny. I just asked. I mean, I, literally, uh, the president of As Seen on TV, which, you know, Harrington was the the uh, chairman of, asked me to come over because he wanted to have some celebrities, you know, push their products. So I did. I went over there. I knew uh, going there, I knew Harrington was involved. He's the chairman. And I also knew that, you know, there's not a lot of business celebrities out there. There really aren't. Uh, nope. So I'm hoping to be one, Bob. You're, you're here to make me a business you're, celebrity. That's our goal. Yeah, here. You're already there. You're already there. So at um, any rate, um, at the end of the meeting, I just tell, I, I, I say to Pruitt, I said, listen, yeah, I just find out. If, I mean, Kevin's a big shot and everything, but he may, he may want to get some endorsements. I don't know. Just find out. And I'm telling you, I wasn't 30 minutes away from that meeting when my cell phone rang, unknown caller. It was Kevin. Hey, what's happening, Bob? Now. Did I ask him for a retainer? Did I ask him for nothing? I didn't ask him for nothing. I said, Kevin, I'd love to, you know, bring you some deals. No strings attached. He goes, great. I had him a deal in 48 hours and the wire in the bank. Now that is how you get their attention. That's how you get a business friend quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was, I, I'm, I'm going to extend. I'm going to do the uh, improv. Yes. And. Yes, give them some, some, you know, how can I help you? Now, people's guard goes up and they go, oh, all right, what's going on? I'm getting ready to get pitch slapped. If you be sincere with it, and I will tell you, if you could even support that with authentic engagement into their videos, their content, yeah. reshares, repurpose, and you reach out and say, I really like your content. I really love what you're doing. Is there something I can do to help you be even more successful than you are? That bridges over to... Uh, more trustworthy way to break in. So if, if in, and if you have your own little brand yourself, this will help, uh, you know, if you're like, Hey, this guy may have, you know, this, but the truth is if you actually give attention and actually are clearly a supporter of what they're doing, this will help that initial outreach. I think even hundred percent. That, that's why I said you pick your celebrities list eight or nine or 10 of them and simply communicate and, and find out what will help them. hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, and, uh, and in and, and I think uh, let's say you're though you're a you know you're you're a entrepreneur solopreneur maybe you run a small business okay where do they start with you do they do they just give you a, like like maybe they give you a call and you go through it but well I mean I guess I don't know how, who should call you and what I don't mean like it's a shameless plug but like I, I would be like if I'm an owner I'd be like am I even the right pick to do this like so how do well how do you know, know let, let let's let's give people a little channel here. So, or, you know, route or direction. 
Um, you know, a lot of people ask me, yeah, because we have a lot of sponsors. We have a lot of partners in our shows. And we, we, we reproduce and distribute 15 different TV shows. And we distribute worldwide. And we're just distributing the United States. But we focus, I'm not going to say almost exclusively, but I would say 90% of my focus is on small businesses. That's what I like. It's certainly what Kevin likes, that's for sure, with Boom America. But uh, I, I want anybody to communicate to me at Bob at AmericaStories.tv. Just say, hey, what do you think about this? And listen, if I don't have a direct way to assist, I mean, we, I, frankly, we know a lot of people. And yeah. it, 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 it takes all of, you know, it take, first of all, you have to excuse the expression. You have to give a shit. Okay. You got to, you got to actually care about somebody. That used to be our tagline for my company, by the way. We actually give really? a shit. That oh, that's, be my tagline. It's, that's a smart tagline. Uh, I think they beep it out these days at YouTube. Who they would. It's, it's, I could never <laughs> advertise with it because it kept getting flagged. Right. We got rid of can't do that. But you know, how, how, listen, I just did this a few minutes ago. One of our uh, sponsors uh, asked me, could I get one of my celebrities to be on his podcast? I said, sure. And I just connected them together. It, it, the email took me, what, three minutes? I can't take three minutes right. to connect two people up. So just email me. And you, you never know, you know, at a minimum, I probably can throw it to the right people. But that's, Ooh. that's what I would do because we have shows that are devoted for small business. We have a show that just went uh, premiered. Um, actually, it's premiering in a couple of weeks. It's called, it's called The Big Reveal. And we're looking for cool, pe unique people, companies, or ideas from small town America. And man, you should see some of these folks that we're going to have on the show. Wow, really cool stuff. But that's Big Reveal. That's for small businesses. We have another show called The Real, Real Man TV. It's, it's a hoot, but it, it, it's, it's not necessarily what you think. And, uh, and it's very engaging, very funny, but you meet cool people again. Uh, so certainly Boom America. I mean, here's Kevin Harrington with, an, with, a, with a SEAL Team 6 unit of experts, one of which you're going to be on in a couple of weeks here. Um, and just saying, just, yeah, so, and, and what are we doing? We're helping these companies over a year's time with consultation and maybe a, a little thing here, a little thing there to boost them up. And we document it. So I, I what I would say to answer, well, that's a long answer to your question, Thomas. <laughs> Here's my. Oh, we key. got all the time on the podcast, so however we do it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Here's my key key takeaway. Key, key communication. Communicate. Communicate. Don't negotiate against yourself. Don't have an idea. I I want to talk to this person and immediately negotiate against yourself and say, "Well, no, they won't like me." Uh. -uh. Just communicate. What are they going to say? I hate you. All right. Sticks and stones. It's interesting on that. Uh, don't be afraid because the worst, if you do it in an authentic way, the worst you're going to do is probably get ignored. Unlikely right. you're going to be told. You might be told, hey, we're just not partnering at this time. And that's just a no. No's can turn into yeses given the right situation. So for the scenario you decide is, you know, you get an opportunity to do business or send somebody their way. They're going to probably give you attention if you put money in someone's pocket. And so the, like my point is there's a no who becomes yes quickly when there's value. Uh, that's right. That's right. Boy, that's true for sure. I mean, no, no's are not no's. No's means don't understand value, don't have value right now. And uh, value is not always, as everybody listening now knows, it's not necessarily a piece, you know, hunk of change. It could be, you know, something more, far simpler. I mean, yeah. they may, you know, I, I have a, there's a the company I know that uh, they provide, they, they provide assistance to this group that does teaches uh, archery nasp you got 1.1 million people involved with mass and this guy decides to help them now because he helped them 
he's connected to 1.1 million people. So it's very simple. And they did, you know, he didn't help with cash. It's funny because as we've, you know, as, as I started Never Been Promoted, uh, we, we don't have a specific monetization path for it. It was, we have a book, but I don't, I mean, if I break even on what it costs to do a book, I'd be thrilled. Um, if, if we, if we, you know, make any money from a YouTube channel, awesome. That's great. But I'm going to invest it all back in it because I look at what I'm trying to do with this and then the cut the tie community is I really do want to help uh, make a whole million new entrepreneurs that have never been there. They didn't even consider it potentially, but they have it in them. And if I can do that, I don't, I'm not worried about monetizing. That will take care of itself. Oh, yeah. It, yeah it was because best, yeah. it's it's such, to me, it's like a core important thing for, especially for the U.S., I think. It's just because it's in our kind of culture now is that you can do that here. Um, yeah. And I think if people have that mentality of how can I help a million people? Uh, there, there was, I was at this uh, this uh, thing called A360. And it was by Peter Diamandis. And he's, you know, he did like SpaceX. And he's kind of, he has this group wow. of kind of innovative group. And I, and I got invited into it. And by far, I don't know how I got invited in because I was by far the least wealthy person in the room by a factor of a thousand, <laughs> hands down. Like, there's no question about it. Um, so I don't know why I was in there, but I was in the room. Um, and and he, and he and one of the things that, that this you know they had was you know the the big audacious hairy goal and whatever else. But their idea was if you could help a billion people, you'll make a billion dollars. So go figure out how to help a billion people first, and go do yep. that, and the money will follow was the whole idea. Yep. And I, that kind of stuck with me. It's like, well, if I can help a few million people, maybe a you know a few hundred dollars will follow. <laughs> but, but, um, but, but the idea is to truly try to help somebody. And if you could do that through distribution channels like yours, now you're on to something. So, so let, let me get into that and, and where I was. You know, can, I, can, I, can I just follow up on that little piece? Because that's really key. One of the reasons that I'm in the entertainment business is because I was helped. Man, I've seen programs that were inspirational, you know, and, and folks, I've hit a lot of rocks, folks. It, it, this has not been some rosy ass ride. I've been up, I've been down, I've been up, I've been down. And I can tell you, there were some times when I remember listening to a radio show with Larry King. It's about one in the morning and he talked he he talked about this thing that was so inspiring that you know my little eyes are welling up and I'm like and that gave me energy and juice for two or three years one comment on one radio show so I know the power of media done right you you can inspire you just give people a little flicker of hope and most people are powerhouses. In fact, all people are powerhouses. You just got to, just got to, you know, get, you got to give yourself a acknowledgement sometimes, right? You got to say, you know, I, I'm still here. I'm still rolling. And just that little flicker of inspiration, unbelievable. You, 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 um, I'll take that a little bit further. And I, I'm, I'm boy, it's, this is a yes and moment for sure. When I'll read a book, whatever it is, traction, science and mindfulness, whatever, whatever I'm reading, right? There's usually one line in it that I'm like, that, that kind of completes a neuron, uh, like a gap that wasn't firing right. And I'm yep. like, I got, I got what they mean. I think I understand what they mean. So it's contextual. So the more you kind of educate and read with good content and other things in life, the more of those kind of bridges, if you allow it to happen, happens. This yep. could be extended even further. So uh, I stopped drinking in August of 2023. All right. And, and it wasn't because of health. It wasn't because I went to an AA program. I just decided that I think my last 10 years of my life will be better if I just stop drinking now. I think I'll be healthier. Okay. I'll be happier. I will. Everything will be better. Like, and it wasn't, I had a problem. It, was, it wasn't like, it was just like, it was a typical social, but I just was like, one day was like, I, I want st- to, I'm, I'm bored. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. And I, I listened to a book uh, and, and the, the line of the book, it was a, uh, Alan Carr's book on how to make it easy is if you just don't have the first one, you can never, you'll never get drunk. You'll never. And so I was like, well, that's pretty simple. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, there you go. It's not like, because people are like, oh, moderation. You can't just have, I'm like, well, I don't believe moderations actually exist. That word doesn't exist in my world. And so I was kind of like, all right, I'll just not have the first one ever. And I got to tell you, that's a principle. It can be applied to anything. Oh, are you trying to lose weight? Well, don't eat the piece. Don't eat the first chicken. <laughs> you made the kids. Like, <laughs> You know, that's really true. That's really good. Go to the speed limit. 
five miles past where you know you'll get a ticket. Like it's it like the simple concept of just don't do it or or <laughs> get up and go do it. Like go work out. So anyway, it, yeah, simple do things that. like that. You're First still step, you know, because you know most people they know. You know they know. They know, yeah, if I do this, it's definitely that right way, wrong way, time and light, you know, it or it. <laughs> right way, don't care doing it anyway. Yeah. And I don't know why, you know, I should do this. It's like, so um, anyway, yeah. I, I think there's a lot to be said. If you're, if you're looking for inspiration, then, then you'll find it. If you, if you can put yourself around with enough things that, so, so like, I, what I, I guess my point of that whole thing was, if you feel like you're down or you feel like things are going great, but you just don't know if I should I that surround yourself with ideas and look for those little bridge gaps. Cause sometimes it's yep. as simple as just one line. hundred uh, percent. All right. So tell, tell me about, so, so everyone claims to have all these things. Talk, talk about your distribution. And I think, you know, the, sure. not to make this so, uh, shameless plug, but when you're starting as an entrepreneur and you're looking at, there's a lot of noise. And, and so I want you to kind of address two things. One, there's a lot of scammers kind of things out there that are reselling things. They don't really have a right to resell or should, or you don't need to go through certain channels. Mm-hmm. And two, talk about your actual specific distribution because yours is a legit kind of size thing to do here. So can you yep. talk about that kind of buyer beware and what to really look for? So our whole model for American stories is fairly simple. We have a core belief. Our belief is. Every show I do is going to inspire. People are going to learn things and they're going to feel better. Now, in order to make that happen, I have found that you have to produce the show and have it completed in the can before you then go out on the distribution play. Because if you are trying to walk into History Channel or American, you know, AHC or whatever, with an idea of a show and a little pilot, man, get ready. <laughs> because it's going to be changed and bastardized more than you could possibly think. But what that does give you, if, you're, if you've already produced the show, then you are the one with a lotto ticket. So we decided we would never be in a position to be canceled. I mean, you had the, the, the you had a reality show called Cops. It was like the most profitable reality show in the history of TV. It was on for 29 years. Hell, I met the first guy up in Oregon and uh, John Bunnell. Uh, and all of a sudden, it's the summer of, you know, whatever in 2020. And because of certain circumstances, I'm not going to get political here. All of a sudden, Cops is off the air. Holy crap. So we decided that we would do decentralized distribution. We were going to have so many tentacles out. If some channel said, oh, we don't like what you're doing, I'd go, well, there you go. (laughs) So when you have a produced show, believe you me, you have all the cards. So we distribute um, in in the U.S. Give you an example. One of our shows is called Surviving Man. That's two ends, Surviving Man. Look them up. We're everywhere. So we're on Pursuit Channel. And they're in 35% of all U.S. households, 100 million people. Well, they saw our show. They saw our show, 45 seconds of our show at the big, huge shot show in in Las Vegas. And they said, we're in. Boom. So now I'm in uh, uh, Pursuit Channel. Then American uh, uh, Anthem, uh, Anthem, uh, Anthem Television. Um, they saw what we're doing and, and they saw our show in, I'm in then outdoor action TV saw what we're doing in then film hub, which distributes and sells the rights to TV worldwide. They saw our programs when we were in con France in, in, in. So I have no problem getting distribution because I already have, uh, I already have a pot of gold. And I just show people, here it is. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Because let me tell you, in the distribution world, in the TV world, the network world, man, do they need content. It's ferocious. And that's principally because of this. So when I say watching TV. He's holding up a phone for those listening. Oh, there there you go. (laughs) It's a phone. And that's where 60, 70% of all TVs watch now. That's, That's the TV. There's some smart TVs out there. 
But you now have uh, over four and a half billion users of these little smartphones watching content. And by 2029, it's supposed to hit six and a half billion. There is such a demand for content, you wouldn't believe it. So it's really easy for us to get distribution. Anthem Entertainment, by the way. Like I said, I think before we started, I need coffee. Uh, but anyway, you get the idea. So that's all. It's it's when you have a great show, away you go. Man, that's you know, uh, when you have unlike Bob's show, show that's highly produced, ours will go out just like he said it. Just... <laughs> all right, I have a really <laughs> serious question. Well, How does someone approve Steven Seagal in a cops like version of a show? Let's just start with that. Who gives that guy a bad? And how does he end up on the show? I mean, you wow. saw that. And first of all, did he he eat the entire show of cops to get that big? <laughs> He's a big boy. Oh man! I mean, according to his Aikido, he looks like he just looks at somebody to do a flip. So I'm pretty sure that might be acting on the other side. You know, he had a he, he had a he had a wife who used to look just freaking gorgeous too, and she just she 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 was ridden hard, put away wet. Man, I'll tell you that. Not good. <laughs> So <laughs> I, I used to love his movies, but then like I know I don't know, I don't know why I'm on that yep. tangent. By the way, my yeah, number one skill that is wrecking any meeting with a tangent. It's a great corporate skill set to have when you are not prepared. So, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so good at it. Um, I listen. Uh, it is it is shameless plug time. This is that bit of the show where you're not supposed to hang up. You're actually supposed to listen. So if you don't care, you can hang up. But it's good. I hope you come back. Maybe you didn't like this one, but I'm gonna say it's your fault, not mine, not yours, Bob. The listeners. Sure. I like, I like to blame sure. the audience. It's more fun. Cause more diversive, polarizing content. In this case, though, I'd like you just to give the shameless plug. Who do you want to get a hold of you and how do they best do that? I, I want small businesses and medium sized businesses that want to get massive exposure and do it in a way that, it, it, that will shock you in a good way. So just email me at bob at americastories.tv. Bob at americastories.tv. Now, I do have four different producers and maybe I'm not going to be the one that calls, but one of us will. And, and yep. just, just tell me, you know, tell me who you are. Give us a website link. Uh, you got to have a website. Can't do much if you don't have a website and contact information, but there you go. Yep. That's it. Maybe a small story of why you, you maybe from the lesson today of, Hey, how can you help Bob? That would get you. I've met your producer, at least one of them. And yep. they are, I will tell you anyway, if you're getting, it's basically an extension of Bob. So you're talking to Bob via, it's, it's, oh, yeah. it's they share That's their sure. saying, you're not, you're not at a gate that you can't get by. Like if you can't get by, not you're, not get by you're not going to get by Bob anyway. So I would tell you maybe a story on how that helps Bob, maybe a way that separates and differentiates yourself from the others sure. that are just reaching out blatantly and, and say, Hey, check it out for yourself. I actually made you this video, like little things like that might, might get your attention. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. Yeah. And and one of my producers, Carla, told me about her initial. She found you, Thomas. And she said, this guy is fantastic. Right. Uh, and you know, uh, I smell yet. I smell great. <laughs> well, now you, you you look like you're in really good shape now. You are no, like no, no. I have this thing coming up June 10th with this guy named Bob Safel. And he <laughs> and, and I have I have I have. <laughs> I've been hitting the gym uh, twice a day and I've been dieting because I'm like, I'm sure as hell not going on camera with as big a love handles as I have. And I'll still have some well, minor love well, handles, but we're going to get the angles. This is guy like Minnesota fats. You know, he's always on the, you know, he's a good looking guy. He's like, he's good on the ice. Anyway, I can't wait to see you, but um, there you go. I, you know, I, I really did. I last, I've been doing the hard 75 for the fact that I have a filming <laughs> okay. coming up and I'm just trusting you're going to get the camera angles right to kind of, Cut out any of the midsection that doesn't look quite right because because Kevin is pretty damn skinny, and I'm two thirty at six one and a half and not that fat. But I will tell you, I'm going to look chunky compared to that guy. I don't know what he does. He's but. He's, he's he's unbelievable. I mean, this guy is unbelievable. You know, I got to tell you, a he is so smart. I mean, he can talk to a person about their business two three minutes. And his his head is like this Rolodex of tens of thousands of people. And he goes, okay, uh, let's get you connected with this person and this person, and this person, done. Uh, and but with that said, nicest guy in the world, great looking guy. I mean, everything else, 
he doesn't big time anybody. He never makes anybody think anything other than everybody, everybody both people in that conversation conversation are special. It's a really this is special dude. That's so. a talent for sure. Yep. And and there's a yep. um that that's a real yep. talent and, and usually it's a sincere talent. Like they're actually oh no doubt successful is to be actually interested in the other person. Um it's it's uh it's funny when I give some coaching advice of people who are kind of like well how do I work the sales meeting I'm like stop talking and ask a question and just listen and then ask Boy, another is that right? I mean it's not hard right? <laughs> it's uh it, it's funny introverts make the best salespeople I probably should make a post about that because they don't want to talk so they want you to so they think about what you said and go well, here's a question and if they have a good been coached of how to write ask the right questions to move towards interest of buying. They make excellent salespeople. Sure. Hey, let me ask you a question. Um, or I, I'll that. just make a statement. I tell people all the time. I say, listen, you're going to learn a hell of a lot more listening and talking. Yeah. That's right. Two ears, two mouths. <laughs> exactly. Wait, wait, no, that's not right. Two ears, two nostrils. I, you're supposed to breathe and listen. Um uh, Bob, thanks so much for coming on. I, I mean, listen, I, 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 I wish our show was longer. It isn't. I'm trying to keep it reasonably length so someone's lunch period can listen to it. Uh, but thank yeah. you so much for coming on today. Uh, yeah, once yeah. again, uh, American here, I'll put them up on the screen here, AmericanStories.tv um, and get at Bob at uh, AmericanStories.tv. And if you do reach out, listen, be creative, write a story about how it benefits Bob and his company. Maybe like, you know, I think this would be great because it does X, Y, and Z. And here's my problem. I think you could help solve whatever it is like or whatever, like yeah. whatever the problem that would help your company, you know, your TV show would be solvable and why it's entertaining. Come up with a story, make a video, like put some time and thought when you reach out to people. And if it's even just Bob, when you reach out to anyone that has more celebrity than you, has more influence and you're trying to get something from them, start by giving a whole hell of a lot more. And very few of those people are so selfish. They don't understand that because that's how they got there as well. Yep. There's very few, there's very few that are just complete narcissists who wouldn't do it. Very yep. few. And but um, the key thing, right? Ready for this? Don't not do it. If you're listening right now and you're going, man, I'd like. And the minute if you go, man, I would like to follow it up with action. Yep. Would it be great if? So. <laughs> yeah. Um. Thank you, by the way, so much. I appreciate it. Um. Great big for, guy. And if anybody uh, made it to this point in the podcast and, and, and the YouTube show, like, thank you. Uh, if this was your first time, once again, thank you so much for getting to here. And I hope you come back. And if you've been here before, I, I really do appreciate uh, you for the support. You know, it, the only call to actions you ever do is, is the five star for Apple, Spotify, or, you know, follow the YouTube at Never Been Promoted. It really helps the community, the entrepreneurs and the people that come on the show to get their word, their message and help us drive our mission to help a million entrepreneurs get better at entrepreneurship, to help them unleash it. Help them and cut that tide, all the stuff that holds them back, all the excuses you make and all the kind of the fears you hold on to for some reason. That's what we want to kind of break through. Uh, until we meet again, get out there and go unleash your entrepreneur. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening to the Never Been Promoted podcast. If you liked today's show, subscribe at youtube.com forward slash at never been promoted. Until next time. Get out there and go unleash your inner entrepreneur. Thanks again to InstantlyRelevant.com for producing the show, all the social media, all the content, posts, articles, everything. Could not do it without you. InstantlyRelevant.com. Check it out. They're awesome. Once again, InstantlyRelevant.com.